All right, guys, welcome to the video. This is the four movie UST. This thing has been uh, the winner for the last two years for the ultra short throw. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about it after the second time that I've reviewed it. I'm actually gonna publish this video this time. I'm not holding any punches back, so let's see if this thing is right for you. Stand by right after the intro. Okay, first and foremost, if you guys don't know anything about USTs, ultra short throws, basically this is the idea, right? So you have a lot of light overhead, you have a lot of light around your room. So basically this gives you a big TV experience without having to spend the extra thousands of dollars to get it. So this is, this is basically, it looks like a TV, so it's a two part system. You buy the screen, you buy the ultra short throw, the UST, you put them together and this is what you get. So, um, Basically, that's who, who these things are for. Now, getting into the nitty gritty of, of these units, um, let's go ahead and talk about that. So I need this for a big room like this. This is a 23 foot tall room. If you guys can even tell, this is a six foot subwoofer over here. Um, I guess you guys probably can't tell on video, but um, anything on, on this wall is gonna be dwarfed. So if I had a 77 inch OLED, which would look amazing, it just wouldn't look right on this wall. Also the same thing with an 85 or, or anything above that. So a 120, this is a 120 inch ultra short throw screen. This is the uh, Spectra screen from projectorscreen.com. You guys can grab them there. Um, this is the only thing I've ever reviewed stuff on. So again, this is the four movie down here. Give it a pretty, give it off a pretty good image. It looks pretty accurate to be honest. Um, I don't really have any problems with the video quality in terms of overall sharpness. Let's talk about what I don't like uh, with this specific unit, and then I'll talk about what I do like. What I don't like is the remote. It's clunky. <laughs> Every single remote that you guys will even find with stuff like this, it's gonna be um, you know, almost like a toy and an afterthought. Second thing, I don't like how you have to manually use the, um, the, axis, the axes to mount these things. If you guys have ever done this, it's a huge pain in the butt. So actually in the last couple of years, they've come out with an app for most ultra short throws, basically you take a picture of the screen and it'll auto keystone it for you. If you don't, you have to manually finick with these legs down here and it could be kind of a pain in the butt. So my kids touch this thing all the time. So that's why it always ends up, ends up getting whacked out of, out of the way. Um, basically other ones like Epson and stuff like that, they come with an app. Uh, if your kids do bump it, lady, your, your dogs hit it or, you know, even your, um, your maid hits the thing, it'll go back to where it needs to be really quick. This way it's a little tougher. Um, number two, I like the colors. I like uh, the contrast. What I don't like is the brightness. Again, in this room, like I'm talking about, I need a ton, ton of brightness to give you that actual TV-like experience. And um, whenever it's during the day or whenever it's like sunset or sunrise, it's, it's really hard to watch uh, some stuff on here, especially if it's a dark movie. Um, I haven't had that problem with like, say the Epson or the Hisense, uh, but this thing looks incredible at night, right? So you guys will get that really awesome looking um, video at night. It almost looks like a TV. I think that's why it won the Ultra Short Throw um, Showcase two years in a row, because it does pop. It has the crazy looking colors. They're really contrasty, they're really saturated, but uh, to me, it almost looks like a, a Samsung in that regard. So let's see, what else don't I like about this unit? I think that's pretty much it. So, um, oh, one more thing. If you guys are gonna be using this, I definitely recommend getting like an Apple TV or like using a, a streaming box or something because the apps that come in there, they're not gonna give you the best overall video quality. So Apple TV, I think that would definitely make this thing a little bit better. Uh, because the apps are, are very clunky on there. Um, just make the user experience just a little easier. I think that would just be the cherry on top. But uh, so that's, that, that finishes all the things I don't like about it. What I do like about it, again, it gives me that, that itch I need scratching. It fixes that problem because again, this thing does look pretty sweet. Let me see if I can back up. So the thing does look pretty sweet right there on the wall. So I think that you guys will enjoy it too. Um, again, I've only used this on a spectra screen so if you guys want either of these you guys know where to go you guys can go to projectorscreen.com you guys can pick up this bundle as well as that one uh, i'm sure they have some black friday specials i wanted to get this video out as quick as possible so that you guys can check that thing out too uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments um, one last thing i'll touch on 
is that this does have a Bowers and Wilkins soundbar, which let's be honest, I don't think it's a Bowers and Wilkins soundbar, <laughs> but it does play really, really, really loud and really well whenever I'm watching Coco Melon with the kids. So it's very musical speaker, very intelligible. And again, everything in this room just sounds deplorable. So um, acoustics just aren't really great for this room. So anything that'll cut through that really helps out. So big ups to them on that. But if you guys wanna purchase this thing, you guys know where to go, uh, projectorscreen.com, links down in the description. I'll, I'll even leave it down here too. Uh, that's all I got for you guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.